that's the beauty of Bond films, isn't it? For all of us growing up as kids, watching them, you know, even watching your parents watch them and seeing some amazing, amazing action sequence and knowing there's been a real person do it. For me, being in the industry 20 years and working and growing up with the world of CGI and then working as a practical stuntman and there's no bigger challenge or no bigger uh, I know, kudos to being on a Bond film and doing a stunt for real because you know you've seen iconic stunts. Bond has always set the standard for all action films for the last 50 years. So to be part of that and actually go into a Bond prepping, designing, coordinating anything you know you've got to have a real person that's got to perform that stunt, which is a huge difference to working with a more animated, you know, superhero kind of character. Bond's a real man. Although he's extraordinary and he's got, you know, determination and he's got superior skill, he's just a, 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 he's a man at the end of the day. I think for us on a Bond, it's... A real fine line, even going back to when we did Casino Royale with Daniel. Daniel performed so much of his own stunts on that film and worked so hard and, and took the knocks along the way, along with us as, as a stunt department. You know, working under Gary Powell, who was coordinating at the time, and working with Martin Campbell, that's kind of set the standard for these Bond films for Daniel, where you know that it, it, there's a high risk because it is, you know, you're going to do it for real. Although we'll break it down and we'll prep it as safely and uh, as smartly as possible. End of the day, someone when they action, when they call action, that's a real person jumping off of the cranes or crashing the car or jumping the motorcycle or driving the boat. And in in Daniel as well, being at number ones with Daniel when he's running across the top of the cranes, when he's in the boat or he's in the car. It's all happening for real, which is far more rewarding as a stunt coordinator and a stuntman rather than working in an environment which is just a green screen environment where you're working just, you know, on a mocap suit or you know you're in trying to interact with things that aren't real. You are interacting with a real car. A real truck is coming towards you. A real boat is speeding beside you. You know, guys are flying past you. It just brings the whole, it's happening for real. Those stunts are really happening and you're, you're right in the middle of it. So as soon as Lashana started with us, every day, straight in, into a, we, we used to call it Shed 32, which was where we had our fight training, we had our gym, and a lot of the guys, we'd go in there and concept a lot of the action. Olivier and me would sit down and just, you know, fray notes around everywhere, and, and then Lashana would be training in the corner. So you pop in and always keep an eye on what she was doing, working non-stop the whole time. If she wasn't stretching or conditioning, she'd be, have a, a pistol in her hand, or she should have a rifle, and constantly just working on all the things that we knew that were going to be coming her way. So again, putting her in a harness, getting her comfortable at height and wire work, absolutely, again, brilliant, you know, and loved every minute of it. Was, you know, bouncing through the door every morning. Let's go, what are we doing? Where's my gun? You know, that, that is what you need when you're working, you know, as a lead on a Bond film, especially when her, her character is going to have such a physical role. She was, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think for me, on, on this film, I mean, No Time to Die, hopefully we're going to touch on all of the favourite things about Bond, which for me has been great to see some gadgets come back. Um, and they're fun, you know, and they're not there just for the sake of being there. The action, again, doing as much as we can practically and, and applying logic to it and seeing Bond do things that Bond would do is really important. I've done the last five with, with Michael and Barbara and you become like family, you know, you spend 12, 15 months together and more so than working with any other producers um, or working for any other franchise, you genuinely want to achieve the best you can because every time you see each other in the morning or you're saying goodnight on rap, you just get to know each other so well and you know when people are happy, you know when people are disappointed or you know when people are stressed. And, and there is a, a lot of that, you know, it's, a, it's such an intense period shooting a Bond film that you, you become like family and you're looked after like family, you know. Barbara will walk around and, and just check on all departments, you know, walk around having a cup of tea, how are you doing? Not just talking about how you're doing at work or how you're doing, uh, you know, that day, you know, genuinely checking in to see how you're all doing because it is so intense. Same for Michael. Michael has been great because Michael just, he'll, he'll very, very quietly just walk his way through set. He'll watch what's going on 
and he'll see people under, he'll see a department under pressure and he'll come up and he'll give you a nod and, and, and give you a well done or check you're all right and, uh, and that means the world to the crew to be honest and that's why everybody loves working for them. Definitely the, 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 the bond of No Time To Die is not the same of, of Casino Wire. It's not the same guy, but it makes sense because that guy is, is 15 year, years old, older. So we grew up with him, he grew up with us, and his character grew, grew up, and it makes sense. He can be exactly the same guy. And um, that's why it is interesting now. I mean, he's, he's, so the, the charisma he has, in this one is, is just uh, very special. It was such a pleasure to work with Lashana because she's, uh, she's always smiling, she's always on, in good mood, she's so happy to come to the stunt work, she's very excited to, to learn something new every day. Uh, so, you know, it, it was really easy for, for the stunt boys and, and Patrick. When, when you have someone like her coming every day, like, I, I want to learn. I'm, I'm, she, she, you know, she wanted to, to, to look good on the screen and, and, and she, she, she done everything to, to, to success and, and do that at the end, you know, she worked hard uh, because uh, she's uh, someone who, who wants to be uh, precise uh, in, in what she do and um, there is no place for hazard and, and, and she wanted to do her stuff. So I said, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, every, again, everything which was safe enough, she's done it and she's done a lot. In terms of fight, she's been on wire, she's done a part of the jump. I mean, she, she's done a lot and always with a smile. She, all, all the stunt department loved her because she, she was, again, very respectful, and we saw her, how fast she become, you know, um, comfortable with weapon and, uh, and fighting and kicking and, and punch and all of that. It's, it's like, really, she, she, she worked hard, but I think it's worth it because uh, you can see on the screen it's her. Daniel, I mean, he's, he's everywhere. I mean, he's... he's He's, he's um, working on the script. He's uh, have an eye, on, you know, on, on, on set, on the stunt, on, on everything. He, he wants to have his vision, not because, just because he's passionate. He wants to make, to give the the, 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 the maximum to the audience for his public. He doesn't want the, the audience to be disappointed. So that's why he's very hard with himself. And 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 um, I have to say, he's done an amazing job. And I don't know where. He, his energy come from to do all of that because he also has just the lead character to take care of. Working for Barbara, Michael and Greg, it's, it's such a bliss. I mean, it's really, um, I think they are, the way they are with their crew as a producer is very unique. Um, also Barbara and Michael, with all this bond they have behind them, all this experience, all these stories. I mean, it's amazing to talk with Michael or Barbara about what happened on this film, what happened on that bond, and all these stories they know, all that experience they have. And they are so respectful of all the crew, and I mean, always ready to help someone or make his life easier, because they know how hard is the job. I think what we all succeed to do on this film, on No Time to Die, was to come back also in, to what make Bond Bond, meaning, I mean, big set, big action scene, amazing, uh, you know, uh, costume and different location, uh, spectacular uh, cars and um, all the gadget. And uh, that, that's one part of the things I was talking recently about uh, Linus, the DOP, which done an amazing job on the light. I mean, seriously, it's like, wow, you bring me back to, you know, to 
to, to, to that time was a spectacular film 